What's up everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a tour and showing you how I did my guest room makeover. If you're new, my name is Christy, my husband and I have five children and we recently moved to Las Vegas from the San Francisco Bay Area. And we have a ton of family and friends that we hope will come visit us. So we definitely want to create a nice, clean, comfortable, relaxing space for our guests to enjoy. We've got blacks and whites with a little pop of greenery going on here. I really want it to be a neutral zone that everyone can enjoy from young to old. We recently had our first guest stay for three nights and they absolutely loved the guest room and they loved how comfortable the mattress is. I can't wait to show you what mattress we got. But first of all, let me show you how we put this room together. This room is on our first floor in the front of the house and it is pretty decent size for an extra bedroom. It does have a private full bath with a bathtub and a shower. Since we are in Las Vegas and Las Vegas is all about going out and having fun and exploring and trying new things, we really wanted to bring the Las Vegas vibe into the room so that it felt like an actual hotel room. The first thing we did was purchase a bed off Amazon. It was about $140, just a very simple, sleek, and modern look. It was very easy to set up. It took me about 25 minutes by myself to set it up. I really recommend this bed. It is strong, it is sleek, it is modern. I really love the black color. Then we went ahead and moved on to the dresser. I had an old dresser that I was not using since our new home has built-ins in the closet. I wasn't sure what to do with it. So my husband and I decided to refurbish it. We did not do any sanding, no hard labor here. All we did was pop off the hardware. We wiped it down just to make sure there was nothing sticky and gooey on it. And then we sprayed it with a spray paint that had gloss in it already. I believe the name was like a dark mahogany color, but they did not have an espresso and we didn't want to go like fully black. So we did the darkest brown we can find. It literally was dry to put back in the room within 15 minutes. We decided to take a nightstand from another room that we didn't plan on using and we sprayed that as well. And we're gonna be using that in this guest room. And as far as the hardware, I just gave it a quick scrub with soap and water, sprayed it with a silver nickel finish spray paint. It was like $4 at Lowe's. So it really just gave it a good look. And then moving along to the mattress. COVID-19 is still out there, so we don't have the luxury of just going into a mattress store and picking out a mattress. So a mattress in a box was the perfect thing for this project. I'll be honest with you, I was a little bit wary, like how could a mattress in a box be so comfortable and actually be something that I would want to sleep on, I would want my guests to sleep on, and it would last. A big thank you to Lowell for sponsoring today's video. Lowell has an amazingly comfortable mattress. It's supportive, it has a cooling gel layer, and it was perfect for the guest room. With Lowell, we got free shipping. It just came to my door. I could easily bring it in the room by myself, take it out of the box, and put it on the bed. All I did was cut the outer clear plastic layer, and it instantly started to expand. I was amazed how much it expanded, and the feel of the mattress mattress was incredible. We have had Lowell in our guest room for about three weeks now. I love it. I actually find myself sneaking down with my laptop and just doing some work on it to get some peace and quiet because it is so comfortable. I'm thoroughly impressed with the quality and the convenience of this mattress. On top of that, Lowell is running a special for $150 off a mattress right now. So if you're looking for something super convenient and comfortable, and if you sleep hot and want a cool gel layer to keep you cool at night, definitely check out Lowell. And don't forget, you will get $150 off. And in addition to this super cool mattress, Lowell actually offers other products. They sent me these plush, super supportive, cool pillows, and also an amazingly comfortable, high quality duvet, 
and a duvet cover. I love the crisp feeling of a white, clean, new, fresh bedding set. I am really impressed with the quality. It is super comfortable. I'm actually gonna be ordering a whole nother set for my master bedroom because I'm quite jealous of my guest room right now. So thank you so much to Lowell for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget, you get $150 off your order. The link is in the description. So now that we've got all the main pieces covered, I wanted to add other elements to bring in the comfort of this room. I got this lamp at a store in Las Vegas called At Home. It was about 30, 35 bucks, and I really love the industrial look of it. It really adds a different vibe to the room, really modern. And then I had some succulents from my old house that I threw in here because I thought they would go perfectly to kind of add more of that hotel vibe in i have this black basket i added some fresh white hand towels to it and then i put some items that i thought would be really good in a guest room maybe someone may have forgotten their toothbrush or toothpaste we've got some sunblock we've got some lotion we've got some carmex we've got some snacks i actually have a wrinkle decreaser that I got in my Fab Fit Fun box for fall and I put that in there so I didn't have to put an iron in here. I thought maybe they could just freshen up their clothing with that spray. And inside the dresser I had these old yellow and white striped liners which were not gonna do. I was looking for a black and white pattern but I couldn't find it so I thought the gray and white would be okay. Not everything has to be super matchy matchy. I got this roll of drawer liners for from Walmart. They were only $5 and I love how it just added a little bit of freshness. Now in the closet I put some black velvet hangers because I wanted people to be able to hang up their dresses and their nice clothes, get them out of the suitcase and be able to hang it up just like in a hotel room. In the corner of the room I just added this $20 palm that I got at Home Depot and a nice pot that was around $25 as well. I wanted to add the green lively vibe into the room and I think it looks great in the corner. I am looking for some type of a stand to raise it up so that you see it better when you first walk in the room. If you guys know where I can buy a stand, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to buy multiple for different plants around my home. I do plan on adding some black blackout curtains. I think that would really be good for this room to close them up during the day because we live in Vegas and we're pretty much in double digits every single day this week. I'm working on the curtains. I need to get my husband to drill some holes first. My sister-in-law actually stayed here last weekend and I asked her what else can I add to this room and she said put a full length mirror in the corner so I went ahead and picked one up at Walmart for only $17. It has a black frame and I think it will do nicely. I do want to lift it up somehow. I'm not sure how but if you guys have any suggestions let me know. Now moving along into the bathroom. Everything is just nice and clean in here. I wanted to make it bright so I have an all white shower curtain with a liner and then I added a little bit of a glam with these crisp obviously they're fake fake crystals for the shower curtain rings and then this soap container it's all white it's glass I got it from Costco it was only $9.99 for the actual container filled with soap and then how to refill a soap as well. I brought another fake plant in here from my old house, which really adds that pop of color in a room that is so neutral. I have all white towels and extra in the closet as well as some extra hand towels. In the sink cabinet, I have glass cleaner, sanitation wipes, extra soap and some extra things like shampoo, conditioner, body wash, razors, anything that I thought that I would forget, I put in this bathroom. I also got this really simple, nice light gray rug that I got at Costco, it was only like 12 bucks. And last but not least, to add that Vegas vibe, I got this canvas of the Las Vegas Strip, black and white from Amazon. I will link it below if you guys are interested. I think it was around $45. It is a perfect size and a perfect shape for above the bed. I just really wanted them to feel like they were in Vegas. So this was just a nice little simple touch that I added to the room. Also, we do have a 50 inch TV we are going to be mounting. Unfortunately, it's not mounted for this video because my husband needs to install a new mount because this one does not accommodate a 50 inch TV. 
but hopefully that will be up soon and then the room will be complete. I do have a fan in the closet just in case it gets hot so the guests can bring that out in case they need it. Another really cool feature that we added to the room is to put a little personal keypad so it really looks like they're entering a real hotel room. It's really easy to install and simple to use. We got it off Amazon. I believe it was like 30 or $40. I'll put the link below if you guys are interested. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching my guest room makeover. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you again to Lowell for sponsoring today's video. I actually really, really do love the Lowell brand. All of the products that I've tried, the pillows, the Debay, the Debay comforter, and the actual mattress far exceeded my expectations and I will be ordering more for both of my twins room and then the duvet for my bedroom. I'm really excited about that. So thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any other ideas to make this room more special for my guests, I would really appreciate it. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one. Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high. Floating somewhere up in the clutch. Going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip, 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 nah Trip, 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 oh Flick the switch, kill the lights